today we're going to fit a Baja rack, expedition rack, to this JK Jeep four-door. The Jeeps are a little bit more difficult to fit because of their resin roof, but it takes about an hour to fit the total bar, and we have to fit under the rear bumper bar and on the front A-pillars here. But it's otherwise straightforward and will really enhance the, the look of this really very smart Jeep to start off with. The first step in fitting the roof rack is to remove the rear bumper. This particular car has an aftermarket rear bumper, so the process is slightly different to that given in the instructions. My companion is undoing the bolts now. We'll move the bumper out of the road and be able to fit the brackets. The side brackets for the roof rack are tied to the vehicle chassis with a pair of very heavy duty brackets that bolt to the bumper bar mounting brackets. This is important to keep the rigidity of the whole roof rack. Once we've fitted the lower chassis bracket and refitted the bumper bar, it's now time to tighten the bracket and put a pad behind the bracket so that it doesn't impact on the uh, body of the car and it keeps the roof rack rigid in a sideways direction. After we've completed putting the brackets on the rear of the car, it's time to put the brackets on the front of the car, on the A-pillar. To remove the bolts that are in the car, you need a T40 uh, drive bit. Now we're ready to put on the front loop to the windscreen for the roof rack. The next step in fitting the Baja rack to the Jeep is to fit the rear loop onto the brackets that are here. The bolt is undone and two people should work together to move the rack on, put the bolts through. We're coming to the end of fitting the Baja rack now. All that's left to do is fit the basket on top and do up the bolts on each end, and then finally tighten the pads that brace the rack to the sides of the car. The final thing we have to do to fit the Baja rack to the JK Jeep is to fit the pads which brace the, the rack sidewards under the bracing points, of which there are two on each side plus the one behind the pivot point. So here is a specially shaped one that goes behind the filler point to show you how each rack is individually designed for each car. And then we'll fit all the pads, then tension up the stress relievers and the rack is completely finished.